I think it's going to be a very quick sighting. He's coming straight towards us and he's going to go straight into Buffle's hook by the looks of it. Who do we have here? This is the first look we're all having now too. Do you have an equal size? It's Nana, my favorite Birmingham boy. The reason why I identified him so quickly is he has an equal scar growing across his nose. I'm just trying to duck out of frame. Now look at him standing right in front of my car. He's a beautiful lion, this fella. He's also looking a little bit on the hungry side. He's got quite a bit of skin hanging from his belly, but what a powerful beast. Now there's Impala just up ahead, but I think that they'd already seen him because they did give a snort and started running. Let's keep going. Let's get with, up with him again because otherwise we'll lose him. Are you going to catch an impala for us, Nana? Oh, so nice to see this lovely male lion. I, I said it's not going to be the, the longest sighting we've ever had of uh, a lion before, but the boys seem to be doing that. They seem to be just, just sneakily crossing out. I'm going to quickly cut across the road and uh, we'll get them grab that spot. And go in front of him for you, Seb. Let's go into this little drainage here. Sorry, watch your branches, Seb. You good? Here he comes. And we'll just watch him as he walks past us. Isn't he magnificent? Oh, he's got a little cut underneath his eye as well. But I think it was from a scab and I think he's maybe reopened that wound again. Now he's walking straight down the road. What we'll do is we'll try and do a loop around again and get in front of him. I think that might be the best bet. What do you think, Seb? Okay. Should we do that? Yeah. Right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much for this. How fantastic. Whee! Okay, let's go over here. Please don't be any hidden logs. Please, no hidden logs or collapsing termite mounds today. That would not be great. Oh, it seems this way. We were driving once, we were following Tingana, and then I also got stuck on a tree. I seem to get stuck on trees quite often. <laughs> we'll have another nice view of him again, though. And we'll just keep doing this. There we go. Oh, he's such a beautiful cat. It's so easy to see why he's the favorite of many. He's got a very clean face. Obviously, today he looks like he's got a couple of scratches. He's actually the most scarred up I think I've seen Nena before. Look at that mane though, much more full than that of Tignons and Mfumo, he's definitely older. Now Gillian, you said that he's in such beautiful condition, he is, he looks like he could eat though, he is heading into Buffle's hook now, so we'll watch him for as long as we can, but how's that with the wind blowing through his mane, he really just looks so regal this morning. And he looks, he's just, his entire condition is good. His coat is nice and clean. His mane looks like he's actually paid attention to it. And he does seem to be the neatest one. Him and Suku always look like they're, they're particularly well-groomed. They're metrosexual men, <laughs> the, these two boys. I always find that Tinyo and Mfumo look so scruffy. They don't seem to pay too much attention to themselves. But unfortunately, that is it for the sighting because he has now disappeared into Buffleshook and unfortunately we aren't able to go into Buffleshook. Short and sweet though, 